You think you can't make it? Here's the thing. When I joined this forum in 2017, I didn't have a dime to my name. I embarked on a journey and worked my ass off. Fast forward 4.5 years and I'm in the great to be back I was born into poverty the kind of poor other poor people mocked. My dad spent my childhood in prison same with most of my friends. When he got out, he'd beat the living SHT out of my siblings and I most days. My family joined a cult when I was 10. I became a cult leader by the time I was 28. All the usual stuff. Then along came the driven by ambition and a desire to escape the gutter, I'd already made a lucrative career for myself as a Microsoft ERP technical consultant, but I knew there had to be more than trading my time for money and someone else's yacht payments. It was the key to unlocking the door. I read and my mind was blown, I was already in the process of escaping the cult, it took 5 years to exit successfully with my family intact. I could have left sooner but would have lost my wife and kids I joined this forum in January. I'd already begun writing and selling content online, but absorbing valuable info on here revealed that I had a lot to do before changing lanes. I got to work. I canned my IT career and dove head first into self-publishing full-time. Q underwear change my books were making money, but nowhere near enough to cover my salary. We had zero savings. But I had faith in my family's full support. In retrospect, there are so many things I could have done better, but you learn from living, not the other way around. The grindiest grind in all of Grindington. Towards the end of this year, it looked like it was all over. In desperation, we designed a product launch and put all our eggs in one basket. If it didn't work, we'd be living on the streets. Boom. The launch saved us and launched the company to a new high. I registered my publishing house as a limited company. Hired my first employee. Sales became steady. I identified a new opportunity in the market, pivoted, and invested in a strong team of freelancers. Colin I hired two new employees, with another two joining us by the end of the year. We launched a new product and made $150,000 in sales in June. After years of shoestring living while the business gained traction, I was finally able to pay myself a meaningful salary again more than when I worked for the man. Embark on a JV and take the company to the next level. We've barely scraped the surface in terms of potential market share. We're currently implementing an aggressive growth strategy to scale the manufacturing and digital side of the business. 2022 will be, interesting. Why am I posting this? Well. With all that ambition, I thought I could jump the gun, walk before crawling, and cut corners. But the biggest lesson I've learned is that you can't rush art, and that's what building a business is. A form of art. In his book, said that success is a process not an event. And that process usually takes time, in fact, it never ends. So for anyone out there recently setting off on this journey, it takes time. But you got this. Respect plus plus. Really happy for you mate. Keep it going. Wow, great achievement. Thanks bud. Something anyone can achieve if they set their mind to it. Congrats man. What type of books are they? Thanks for sharing. Well done sir. Great, what a story. You should write a book about it. Respect. Awesome journey I see this so often. When people have a true last resort before ruin. It is highly successful. I'm curious to this phenomenon. Why would you think this is so prevalent? Dude, this is so awesome. Congrats on both your success, but also for getting out of the cult. I have spent a lot of time researching cults. Have you heard of Stephen Huss on? High five to you mate. Novels and game books. We have others in the works. What do you do yourself? It's on the cards. But who knows when I'll get around to it have you written a book about your accomplishments? I'm not sure where I heard it, but I remember several times hearing that hunger is the greatest motivator. This is why I left my job. If the safety blanket was still there, I wouldn't have pushed as hard as I did or taken the risks I had to take to make a success of my business. When things get tough, the tough get going. This is why I have a lot more respect for people who burn their ships when it comes to building their empire. What do you reckon? Thanks man. 
I have indeed. I've read his book on combating cult mind control. Very mind opening whether you are in a cult or in a cult. Spoiler alert, we're all in cults. What has you so interested in cults? No, I was in knee deep in one. Knew something was off, but didn't doubt T truly appreciate the extent of the manipulation until about five to six years after I left. I get that dude. Having been in it and having seen people who left but didn't truly leave until later, it's insane how our minds can be so twisted. The stories you hear have survivorship bias. In other words, you don't hear the stories about the Hail Marys that were tried but failed. It analogous to the unicorns we hear about originating out of Silicon Valley. We don't hear about the hundreds or thousands of failures that were tried in Silicon Valley. We only hear about the wild successes. Which I believe is a great disservice to people in general. Folks should get to see both sides of the coin. I believe a lot of poor decisions are made and that risks are not properly calculated because they think they can emulate such success without failure. If would-be entrepreneurs could see the failures too, as you pointed out, their expectations would be more realistic, that said, failure is just another step on the road to success. Quitting is accepting a failure as the end of the journey instead of recognizing it as part of the journey. In fact, it builds character. I've failed more times than I can number. It takes a lot of resilience and tenacity to keep going, and one rarely builds such character in a life of convenience and comfort. Also, knowing what it truly means to live with nothing offers a unique perspective. If you lose everything, you already know what to expect. And you clawed your way up the first time, so you know you can do it again, and again, and again, and as many times as it takes. I had to chuckle at the matter of factness in this statement. Well done on changing your life around. Dan. Haha <laughs> thanks, my man. I love helping folks who are in the position I was. Hopefully such folks will find my words in time and use them. I couldn't find your progress or process or execution thread, is it on the inside? 